just about to make some lunch. Today we're having this bonza vegan mac and cheese. Shells, cheddar, oh my gosh, you guys. It's so good. Definitely have shared this plenty of times um, over on Instagram. It's one of our favorite lunches, it's really easy. And the shells are actually made with chickpeas, so they have protein in them and they taste really good. I like to add peas to it because I love mac and cheese and peas. So I'm just going to start boiling the water and then we are going to do actually a little home office tour today. Oh my gosh, I have to be strong. Ugh. Really testing that weak wrist strength that I have. We're going to do a home office tour today. It is one of the only rooms in our house that we're like pretty much done with. I mean, there might be like a few minor tweaks that we do at some point, but it's like one of the only rooms that we've really found all the pieces that we wanted and feel kind of dialed in. So I'm gonna tour, tour that. We're just gonna show kind of like our layout in our office. I'm gonna let this water boil and then let's go upstairs and check out the office. Okay, this is a really weird hack, but if you put oh god that's the wrong way if you put lemon zest and like a little bit of lemon juice on mac and cheese it's a game changer here's the final deal right here put a lot of peas in it it's almost like half peas half noodle and then Diane just put lemon zest and a little lemon juice on top heck of a trick all right we're gonna go show you guys the office but can we just have a moment this part of our house. Yep, that's it. I mean, look at that. Whew. It's something, something else. I love it. Okay, welcome to our little home office. Wow, it looks so good in here. Of course, we're playing some jazz because you guys know we love jazz, especially for like working and focusing. It's Always. A loud though, so I'm gonna turn it down. Let me turn that down. Um, right? We have the speaker in here, and it comes with this little like. Bluetooth remote for it. It's so nice, you guys. It's like the best speaker I've ever had. No no shade to other speakers, but like, should we show how loud it goes? Like yeah. It's literally the best speaker. It's so clear. Hello. That's sweet. It's a nice touch for the office. It actually has a subwoofer too. It's but, nice in the office. But I won't blast that for you guys right now. But this is kind of a small room. Our house is like very tight, so We'll try to like show this in the best way possible. I think like the major question I get asked about the most in the office is the wallpaper. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to find this exact one and link it. I just wanted to do something like fun in here and we tried out wallpaper in our previous apartment and I loved it. So I wanted to play around with it again and I feel like an office is a good space to do that. So we love that. And then furniture wise in here, my desk, or I should say our desk now, because yeah. we took away, we- You guys know the long saga with the room next door. Yeah. We've we been back and forth a lot. Yeah, we didn't like need that desk in there. And like, I don't use my desk so much that we can share. Yeah. So now it's just full far no. office, but it's quite feminine for Clayton, but like, right. He's a trooper, so he doesn't care. No, it's nice. Good bud. So this desk is from Restoration Hardware. It's like a large French-inspired desk. I think they call um, it a French writer's or French painting table. Yeah. One of the two. So. Really pretty black. And then this rug is a vintage zebra print rug. This chandelier, I think I got off Etsy. And again, I'm just having kind of like fun in here with some like funkier, more eclectic feels. And then these chairs are actually from Bed Bath & Beyond. And Molly, you guys know Molly, obviously, she um, covered them in this so that I could have my dream chair. So I had this vision <laughs> because these chairs didn't exist to buy anymore. And so we just kind of like made them. And in another vlog, you can see the process of that yeah. if you're interested. Same with the process of putting up the 
wallpaper. Yes. And then this piece of furniture is like a buffet that we had in our old apartment. It's from Anthropology, and we've had this one for a while. Yes. We once used it as a like a media console yep. at our old apartment. In our old apartment, it's yeah. a beautiful piece. It's extremely heavy. We just have it filled with like all kinds of officey things. Yep, electronics, um, paperwork. And it's also from Anthropology. This is the five foot one and it looks freaking beautiful everywhere. So we love it. We love that one. That's the same one we have down in our living room. Mm -hmm. That's the five footer, the one in our living room is the seven footer. Yes. And then over here is kind of just like mood board, vision board, calendar, all that kind of stuff. Organization system over here. It's like not super put together or anything, but. Just a place we, nice. yeah, we put ran, pin random stuff up there, pin random mood boards. This little floating shelf just has a couple of pictures. Uh, we love New York. Actually, There's both pictures are in New York. York. <laughs> um, I don't really like having this plaque out, but. Come on. Megan and Molly both think that it should be out. Yes. So Hard work. We let Celebrate it. it. We let it be out. I'm nice. still trying to get her diploma up. I don't know if I love that one. Can you guys vote on if we can put her diploma up? Like when it, that diploma, your diploma looks so nice right here. You love anthropology so much too, like come I on. I do, I'd actually rather wear a diploma than that. Okay. Okay, so now we'll get over to the desk. This chair, I think I got from- Burke Decor. Burke Decor, okay. Yeah. Really pretty chair. That faux tree is from Target. Target. And then here is the desk situation. So big, nice desk for all kinds of work. Yeah. As you guys know, I am obsessed with planners, to-do lists, any kind of like written note list system just really does it for me. So I have all kinds of planners and notebooks and things there. And you guys know I'm a sweet tooth, so we got... <laughs> Those are our little healthy chocolates that we keep they are on healthy site. Yep. And then obviously having a candle by your workspace is really nice. So love that for just like an ambiance with the jazz and everything. This thing we put here just to kind of like map out some desk space, I guess. It also protects the the yes. desk a little bit too so it's with always like picking up and putting down a laptop and stuff you can maybe start to rough you know up. rough up your desk so this is kind of a protector for that even writing if you write on top of this more than yeah. this you know it's just like a little protection and then it also has little places to store stuff and then i'll show you guys a little bit in my drawers just for like yeah. organization and stuff so in this drawer we have a staple blue light glasses rubber bands Packs and these like little thingies. Those are used for the cork board. Yes, and then these are like all the pens and highlighters that I use, but they're not cute, so they don't, they didn't make they don't, it to they the didn't get the podium. cute area. And then in this drawer, sometimes I like to type on a keyboard that's not this keyboard. I just like the like feeling of it better and the, I don't know, like the pop. Yeah, this and is then, a Bluetooth keyboard actually, and Delaney also uses it for like typing on her phone sometimes, like responding to messages and yeah. emails. Because you can, you can Bluetooth to, to uh, computers, phones, iPads, yeah. all that. And then I also sometimes don't like using this mouse, so I have a mouse as well, just some like little desk things. Yeah. And then more highlighters and markers in here. I leave my computer charger in here, more glasses. And then over here, all these little like acrylic things are off Amazon and Molly got them. She like knows more about that kind of stuff than I do. So it's a really nice way to organize drawers. And yeah, it looks really separated. nice and like separates more blue light glasses and scissors. And then this is the podium, as they call it. I like that. <laughs> I don't name. know that word. Um, I think this is from Anthropology. It is. These yep. are my favorite colorful Those pens. are the best. Got those off Amazon. Um, highlighters. Fancy clear scissors from Target, some more pens and pencils, and then tape. I don't ever really use that. Don't use that. that There's much. also this little like chewy girl good, boss good. Um, sign. That is so. It's girl so boss. chewy, but like I don't know. It's it's here and like the girl boss vibes are. I'm not against it. So yeah. Okay, then we'll come into this little like product closet. 
as we like to call it. There's a lot of stuff in here and it's not like perfectly organized or done, but this closet was just open space before we moved yep. here and then we got built-ins. Clayton actually designed these. I designed this. Pretty good. I think you guys have seen the built-ins in the other closet too, yeah. where all the shoes are. So basically this is just like a bunch of beauty, hair, nails, like all kinds of products. There's clothing, there's fashion, accessories, all that kind of stuff. So we have like self-tanner, lotion, hair care, and then in the drawers is a lot of makeup, more skincare, yeah, like teeth whitening. A little bit of everything. Yeah. So it's not like perfectly organized. Tools, I'd like more to, hair care. I'd like to organize it more. Um, We're working just, on it. It's a big undertaking. Yeah, so more skincare products. Body care, body care, vitamins, vitamins supplements, phone cases. phone cases, and then we just have like a bunch of clothes and shoes here. Some extra and clothes. And then there's boots in this thing. We've um, had this guy forever too. Yeah, and then this is actually a hack that I learned from Juge. So this is a nail polish holder off of Amazon and we use it for sunglasses. So yeah. It works so well. It's hard for me to believe that this was not designed for sunglasses. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, that is pretty much it for our little home office. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It's one of the only rooms that we're on a good pace with. And <laughs> we obviously spend a lot of time here and at our house working. So this is kind of a peek into like the space and the environment that we work in. Some of the little like organizing systems and tricks and tools that we use to be more productive and get our work done and like create a nice working environment even inside our house. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We'll be doing more home stuff and like a full house tour eventually when we're done decorating. But yeah, this is just the little thing today. This is it. We're doing it today. It's happening. It's going down for real. He's getting his first tattoo, guys. A couple of them. And he's kind of scared. So, I mean, he's kind of scared of needles. So I'm kind of scared for him. I know, I'm a little nervous. I think I'll be all right, though. This girl, like, you know, nothing phases her. So she's all good. She could get five tattoos at once. <laughs> You're really pumping my tires here. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Probably. I mean, probably, yeah. I mean, I definitely could do that. You could technically do that too. But I could do it probably with complaining less than you. <laughs> there you go. All right. So he's gonna get a tattoo today too. Damn. But we did get, we did bring some little CBD, so maybe that'll oh, yeah. calm you down. Yep. Just a little de-stress. Wow. Oh. I need like a, a glass of wine and a CBD gummy. Yeah, so let's go do this. Yeah, I'm excited for you. Liv and Kelly are gonna meet us there. I think we're unleashing the beast here. They're getting tattoos too. I'm right? gonna be a beast. I don't like what you're in. This is like breaking the seal. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta this keep going. This is the going. beginning right gotta here. Keep going. This is a moment in history when it starts. Some. Somebody's gonna be in the comments crying about your virgin skin going to yeah. going to the tatted side. Virgin. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. These streets are crazy. You haven't been on these ones right here. This is wild. So yeah, we'll bring you guys along. We're meeting Liv and Kale there. Kale had practice today, so they were already up here and. We're gonna meet them. Me and Liv are getting semi ta semi matching tattoos. Creighton and Kale are doing. They're both just going rogue. You know what I mean? Boys go rogue. Yeah. Let's go see how much I cry. <laughs> this is what I want. I'll probably cry a little bit. The crybaby tattoo. Goodbye, Cam. Here we go. Is it this one? Yeah. Hey, you guys are matching. Why, why Look at these working? two. Is the kale whatever, just leave it. Do they? Just get a ticket, Kale. Yeah, I'll just take a ticket, no worries. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Just add it onto the tab.
In there? You're acting, you're literally acting like Kale's gonna do a, come on Kale, do it. No. Do it Kale. No way. <laughs> Okay. What do you say? A couple thousand likes and Kale will come back and play the vending machine on this vlog. Yeah, if there's like 15,000 subscribers, or uh, 15,000 15, was it thumbs up on YouTube? Yeah. If there's 15,000 thumbs up, then I'll come back and uh, I'll do it. Lock it in. You guys, show up. Show up. Or, or I'll do like a day on this down here. Or you'll just get an app. You'll get like I'll do your handle. Do your handle. Maybe it's a bit tabbier. Yeah, we can we can bump it up a little bit. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It's a tabbier. Yeah, I'll go like 10%. You got me. See, to chill? No. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for this guy. For this baby. Here we go. Kale looks to be first up. A little sunflower. A little happy sunflower guy. Trying to bring some joy. Let's get it. Cause then I'll have room for like whatever I want to do up here. Yeah. You know? And the room back here. <laughs> Are you doing okay, babe? What's that? You doing okay? You're scared. Let's go. Oh, oh, no. Let's go. <laughs> He's kind of so afraid of me. I just got like the little daisy. You can't really see through, but yeah, yeah, it's a little sick. daisy. Do you like that noise? Uh, I don't know if I like the noise. Kill, hold his hand. Because yeah. I can't. <laughs> Here we go. You got this. You're about to be hard. <laughs> Oh, it's not that bad. Is, uh, is the single needle like less painful than the traditional? Or? Uh, it depends. I mean, the traditional is going to be like bigger, kind of big, you know? Perfect. Like, uh, mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that a boy, Clay. That's really pretty. Uh, yeah. We keep working together until they allow us into the car. Yeah. You want to check it out right here? That's perfect because of. Thank goodness we weren't some weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Not done here every day. You guys want to hang out? Then we'd be strict. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that dance. It's a dance. Oh. Nice. That arm don't hurt. <laughs> all right, we're all tatted up. Good job, babe. <laughs> you did great. Look at this. Babe. I didn't even cry I'm at all. I'm very impressed with your toughness today. So I got a tiger because uh, my mom's dad called her tiger growing up. Mm -hmm. So, so I thought it'd be a cool little first tattoo And tigers are reason. just very aesthetic And too. tigers are cool. Um, so I'm gonna FaceTime my mom. We're about to go to lunch real quick. But I think yeah. after lunch, maybe I'll FaceTime my mom. I didn't even tell her we were getting a tattoo. Mm -hmm. And Delaney- I blocked her from my story. Delaney blocked her from the story. <laughs> she always watches and she would know, so. so uh, We'll vlog that. We're gonna vlog that. Hopefully it's a good reaction. Calling the mom. Hey. Hi. When do we, what are we FaceTiming for? Well, nothing, just to see what's up. Did you notice that you couldn't see any of Delaney's stories today? No, I've been gone all day. Oh, uh, what have you been doing? What the heck, man? What am I missing? So we got tattoos today. You did? Yeah, yeah. How did it go, honey? It went good. I, I did really well. So... I got a tiger and oh, nice. and 19, awesome. 1993 and the tiger is for you. Oh, thank you. Because what did your dad call you? Tig tiger. That's why I got it. Tiger makes me cry. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. now I always have you with me. Well, thank you. <laughs> I thought you'd really like sweet, it. That's very sweet, honey. Yeah. That's very sweet. But it turned out really good. Yeah. Try to, wait a minute, hold it up more. Oh yeah, let me start you that. You got a tiger for me, that's good. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> What's up, Dad? Yeah, that's very cool. Very nice. What's up, Dad? Painful? No, it, it actually doesn't hurt that bad. The, the part that hurt the worst was my three. <laughs> I'm okay. Turn on the fountain. <laughs> Turn on the fountain. Yeah, yeah, so.
I'm the paper man. I like to have paper. Papers. Paper. You like notebooks? I like papers. That ex explains our organizational status. This is how I do it. Papers. You know how messy that is? Papers. You know how a notebook stays put together? Papers are kind of everywhere. Yeah. Like papers. Uh, like loose papers. Yeah. Stacks of them. Yeah. Piles. Stacks of Piles. paper. Piles. Piles. Stacks. Piles. I like stacks. Piles. I prefer stacks. But you this never read stacks. Immediately stacked. Right now. Stacked on top of each other. That's a pile. Papers. That's a pile. That's a stack. <laughs> stack pile. Pile stack. Stock pile. That's not a word. Stock pile, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, Means collecting. Pile of stock. It, keeping them in the back. Stockpiling. I'm stockpiling my stack. <laughs> exactly. It's a stockpile of my stack. It's a pile of stacks. <laughs> a pile of papers. No. <laughs> I will not fall for that. I don't think I need this one anymore, but I have it. That's that's just the in case. Pile life. Just in case. That's a pile drive life. Just in case it's there. Alright. So we bring you here today. A couple of vlogs back, we discussed like a little bit more about working and like we've talked about owning a company a little bit on the vlog and You guys like, have shown quite a bit of interest in that too, yeah, like wondering BTS, what it's like. Investing, like things that are just like businessy in general. So we are going to share more of that with you guys. Today's topic is going to be kind of just like a vulnerable sharing bit about like the not so glamorous side mm -hmm. of owning a business i guess and especially with your significant other right because this is our life like this is our reality so we do talk about it a lot and like we just figured i don't know like going into owning a business and like working with your partner it would be, like I shouldn't say it would have been nice to know these things. I should say I should I could have like researched these things better and there's probably like people yeah. who already talk about it and like share about it. I mean we just go into a lot of things completely blind. Like everything. Everything. <laughs> so like I I guess we, we go into everything blind. We can't really be expected Don't you guys remember last vlog when we flew into New York during the hurricane? Yeah. Or like every trip we ever take, we like never research anything. Like just, just go, just go, ones. just go. So yeah, I mean, this is just right up our alley to be like, let's start a business together. We have no idea like what that's gonna do to us or what it's gonna be like, but let's just do it, and that's how we'll find out what it's like. So mm -hmm. if you're not like us and you like research and think about these things, then maybe this could be helpful to you, helpful information. Uh, yeah. If you're like us, yeah. Or if maybe you're this not is like just us, good for you for doing your research. Yeah. <laughs> what? Either way. Whatever. Yeah. No. Yeah. But like, basically, yeah. owning a business together has been single-handedly like the hardest thing that we've ever done mm -hmm. for our relationship. On our relationship. Yeah. No doubt. Well, just adding the we were already really busy with work and life, and there wasn't like much to give. Give. <laughs> already. Like we we really didn't have like no. a bunch of free time or like you know we don't like spend a lot of time socializing or we were already just really busy with work yeah it was a lot there wasn't there wasn't really room to take it on and it was a lot to take on so then you're kind of left in this situation where it's like no here we are. where does it like where does it take from right and there's nowhere for it there's to take no, from so room. it just like implodes there. sometimes yeah so it's just been like really difficult. And, we're learning as we go how to work with it. But I think we shared this too, like we never realized what it was gonna be like starting a business. Yeah. Like how much time and effort and it's like having a kid. No, literally. We've mentioned that before I think on the vlog, but I just, yeah, it's, it's a lot. 
and like anyone who's a business owner obviously knows that and would agree with that and like running so doing social media is also a business so that was a lot and then taking on another one was just, it was just a lot <laughs> so we're gonna see how many times we can say a lot <laughs> the theme is a lot <laughs> no but we need like a synonym i think it's, i think it's just we always try to share sides of our story that aren't perfect right and we're well, I think the message we're trying to convey right now is this is difficult and it's not just butterflies and blue skies no. and it's been really hard on us. It's been, it's hard been really on hard us. on our relationship. Yeah. And you know, we're just taking it as we go, as we do, clearly. And See figuring where it, it takes out. Us. But the the truth and the raw side of it is just like it's not that glamorous and it is hard and there's just implications that you should expect if you want to do something like this yeah. or even if you don't we just we are happy to share that there's implications that maybe you don't see from the outside anyways just to you know be like real and honest and raw with you guys mm -hmm. so it's been hard and i think something that's probably like relatable for everyone whether you're like in business with your partner or a business owner or not any of those things is just working through like the hardest thing in your relationship and i think sometimes lately it's been hard to dissect exactly what is the hardest thing or like what is the cause because i think the pandemic has like so many implications on every person and every relationship yeah. and obviously like we're still experiencing that so that could be part of this or it could just be like owning the business together it's really hard to like isolate things at this point yeah so I think like of so many things. Yeah, and I think that people can relate to that whether they're in a similar situation business-wise to us or not. And just know like social media is like a highlight reel and we share like happy moments and we try to share like hard moments too while still respecting our privacy and our space sometimes like, you know, I'm not I think, I think we try to remain, remain positive right. in hard times too. Right. right, we do. We really do in real life. And I'm not the type of person, like, if I was crying, like, I probably wouldn't, like, go on social media and talk about it because, like, I don't have, like, I'm not in the headspace to do that then. So there's only, yeah. like, so much you can share like, in the moment and be authentic still. So obviously, we're just saying everything in our life is not perfect. Our relationship is not perfect. And something that we've been struggling with ever since we got into it really is, like, owning a business together and what that is like means for it's our the relationship. the amount of stress and work that comes from it is taxing on a right. relationship. And like we were already business partners before with social media, which was a source of stress sometimes, but it wasn't like this. Yeah. And so, you know, it's just, it's hard because when you're in business together in a way where you like own a company, he's now like, my business partner in a different like very defined way but mm -hmm. also still my partner and my boyfriend and it, like everything gets really muddy mm -hmm. gray mm -hmm. and that can be hard and sad too because it's hard to like switch your lens sometimes and be like yeah this, well now i'm talking to my boyfriend before i was talking to my business partner but now i'm talking to my boyfriend and that's, it's hard and that's to, what we've been talking about a lot about lately is just working on those boundaries mm -hmm. and it's really hard and when you're doing too much work it's even harder to make those boundaries because mm -hmm. like you obligate yourself to things that are you physically don't have time for the things that you're like trying to make time for like being more of a girlfriend and less of a business partner because you obligated yourself to this business yeah. that you're like i have to keep this alive like it's a company it takes all this time this effort this responsibility this work the girlfriend thing takes a back seat and then like it's just freaking hard, but I love you. Love you too. We're good. I know. It's but tough. It's hard. I mean, we... We've been struggling with it. We've been struggling. To be truthful. But we always work through the difficult times. Yes. Everything is figure outable, obviously, and we have no idea, like, where, where we're going or what our future yeah. plans are or anything. No. So, like we said, we're just, we're just figuring it out as we go and sharing the feelings along the way. Yeah. So that's just kind of like a peek into if you ever wondered what it's like to work with your boyfriend. <laughs> and Clayton is so great. Like, you're literally the best boyfriend. And you are. You're literally you are. the best girlfriend. I was telling her today that you're very understanding. That's crazy. 
Should we film some clips of you guys when we're working together of just what it looks like other. when we're pissed off during work? <laughs> no, it's just like so hard. Uh, no, it's just difficult. And it's so just always hard. know everything is always. There's just like things you wouldn't more understand. To it. There's more layers. There's more. Until you get into it. Yeah. And like that's where we are. And like we wouldn't have known this, or maybe we would have if we researched. I don't know. But, but it's like, still like we still would have done it, and we still wouldn't have known what it would have done exactly. to us, or what it would have actually been like to us. So like everybody's experience can be different. Like some people that are spouses that are work together, maybe they just have no issues with it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's just different. We're for everybody. away at it. We're working through it, but it's just a lot more than we thought, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But thank you guys for all your support on the most recent launch. Fall went really well. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys like the pieces. We're so grateful for your guys' support and we're so grateful to have experienced this so far and like learning from it and everything. Like we don't want it to seem like we're not grateful or anything. We're just being truthful about like that it was harder than we thought and it also had implications in our life that we didn't expect as much. I never really actively thought like this decision is gonna be like hard on my relationship. Yeah, no, no. Maybe, yeah, no, I just like, Maybe. I didn't really correlate the two. Well, that wasn't an idea. I know. You don't really think about that stuff though. And nor should you like, I mean, you can, but I almost feel like it's, you don't want to say, like, oh yeah, definitely doing this is going to hurt our relationship. Or, I mean, I guess you couldn't really know. That you couldn't know. That, no, you can't really know until it all plays out. Like, you just have to go for what you feel like. Yeah. Go with your gut. And then just do like, it, see and then what it, happens. And, and if it's blowing up in your face, get there. out before it catches on fire. <laughs> we get on like a house on fire. We were watching too much Love Island. <laughs> We get on like a house on fire. Things are great. <laughs> Until it blows up, and then, and then you gotta go. On fire. No, it's great. You're oh yeah, it's good. Like <laughs> yeah, you're, you're really getting on. Um, At least we we're still making time for Love Island. We do. We're not too far that. gone. Yeah, let us know if you want to see more about business. Yeah. Let us know like if you like. What what you would want us to share? What do you want to see? Yeah. Because it's not like very what glamorous. What do you want to chat about? It's not that very like. It's not the coolest thing. So like we don't really. Well, like some things are not. Videotape cool it that much. Industry. Yeah. But if there's things that you guys are interested in, let us know. Um, we'll see what happens, and we're just we'll keep you posted. We'll just send us good vibes. Send us the strength to freaking make it through. We got this. Love you. Love you. Is my body electric for reasons to make a mistake? No, this love